All right, what's going on guys? Wanted to do a quick video here on how to apply some headlight tint to a tail light. Um, you can see that I already did the blinker part of this tail light here. Um, what I'm using is Vivid. It's their Premium Plus Light Smoke headlight tint. Um, it's a dry application and so it has air release in it as well. And it's uh, pretty easy to do. So I thought I'd do a quick video on it. I went ahead and cleaned this area here really well, just like I did with this part here. A um, couple things that I have to help me out. I've got a squeegee, of course. Got a wrap glove in case I need it. And of course my trusty knife here. This one's a Vivid brand. Also very important for this, got a heat gun. Uh, one caveat that I want to make here, it's, you can kind of tell that I have the garage open. Um, and it is cold, according to my phone, it is about 34 degrees outside right now where I'm at. So that'll make it a little bit tough in doing this, uh, but it's doable. I did this and it was 36 degrees out, and so it's not that bad. I'll just warm things up with this heat gun here, and so let's go ahead and get started. So, like I said, first thing first, warm up the area. This will help it apply a little bit better, a little bit more easily. The other thing that you might want to consider doing that I didn't do right now is putting masking tape all around here because this film is extremely sticky and very, very tacky. So it will grab on to this, especially this kind of headlight and taillight assemblies. They have a very high surface energy, so even regular vinyl film will grab right onto it and it's hard to, hard to move it on there. So I'm going to continue to warm this up just a little bit here. One thing about this foam is you can't put your fingers behind the area that you want to have covered, so holding everything on the edge and just being very careful. So I'm going to go ahead, this is the biggest flat part that I on the tail light there, so I'm going to go ahead and start applying that on there. Now I do have, it looks like a bubble, but there's actually a circle right there in the, um, in the actual so what I'm going to do is just use my squeegee to help make sure I press that in very well. And then what I'll do is I'll lay it on like that. There we go. Alright. The rest of it I'm going to go ahead and speed it up. I'm going to pull this back just a little bit because it recesses in a little bit there. So I'm going to basically feed it into that recess there. Just like that. Feed it into that recess. Okay. Same thing over here. All right, now it has another recess on the bottom part as well. So what I'm gonna do is try to do the same thing here. It curves downward and then there's a recess right in here. So what I'm gonna do is do the same thing. Kind of like doing regular vinyl. So what's great about this, this is a lot like regular vinyl wrap that you would have for a car. So you can see, almost done already as far as doing this. So I'm just Using my squeegee here to get that all the way to the edges there. Now I got a little divot corner here, so this is going to be a little tough to. So I'm going to lift it up a little bit and feed that in as well. Feed that in as well. Okay. Now here I think is where some of the cold, despite how sticky this particular film is, right here, because of the cold, the adhesive isn't working quite as well. So I'm going to touch it with a little bit of heat. Kind of make it a little bit soft, make that adhesive a little bit stickier. You can kind of see the, I don't know if you can see that in the camera right now, but the film's gotten a little bit kind of gummy. And I'm going to just carefully put that in there, just like that. I'm use the hard edge side of my squeegee to help out. Make sure that's all the way in there. I'm giving a good amount of pressure to make sure that that's in there. I'm twisting it and turning it. All right. So, guys, basically, I'm almost done. I'll start with some trimming. There was an air bubble there. I don't know if you saw that in the camera. I just squeezed it out. This does, like regular vinyl, have air egress technology. So, that's really, really helpful in applying this. Okay. So, I'm going to give it a little bit of heat. I'm going to lift this up a little bit here. I'm going to give it just a little bit of heat to make sure it's all fed in nicely. Uh, the heat will help soften the film just a little bit. 
if there's any stretch, it'll cause it to shrink back to its original size. What I want to do is make sure it's fed in nicely so that way. It's all the way down into that little recess there. Okay. I'll do the same thing on the top side. Pull this down just a touch. So you can see how sticky this stuff is. It grabs onto that tail light surface really quickly. You can see the film kind of flopping. That's how I know it's ready. Okay, and then so I'm adding just a little bit more heat right here on that side there. Okay, and then. Yes. All right. And then so I'm doing this here to make sure I've got that film fed all the way in. Six okay. minutes. Seven, eight. All right. Now I'm just looking for my knife, and we're going to start trimming this out. Just watching Daddy. I'm done right. watching The Voice. I'm just watching Daddy. I'm done watching it for just a little. All right. So let me get back to. Doing this here, so I'm just gonna take my knife, put it out a couple, about one notch, one line on the blade there. I'm gonna put it on the back of this side of the tail light here. So go ahead, start. I'm just gonna start kind of in the middle, make my way over there, and then bring it up. Okay, and then same thing. But I'm gonna go down this way. Boom, here we go. Get rid of that. Trim this up here. I got a way to make sure I don't cut myself. I'm just double checking before I trim here. I'm gonna do over here, I'm gonna add a bit of a, I don't know if we call it a relief cut or not, but just kind of get the stuff going. Okay, now, because I don't have this masked off and I'm going to be cutting straight on the film. I have to be very, very careful. I'm going to use this natural line here as a guide, recessed area there. Put my blade out. This is where you have to make sure your blade is super, super sharp. So I'm going to start in the corner here. I'm going to put, I'm going to rest my blade on basically this shelf here, if you will. Okay, make sure that's all the way down. Get my blade in there. And I'm barely putting any pressure, guys. I take my time. I'm using that natural shelf on the tail light to guide me. I am more or less just right now scoring the film. Not like, and then I will actually pull it apart. I basically just scored it. Okay, on this side here, I gotta be careful because I'm at the edge. I'm gonna bring the film up. There we go. That way I'm not cutting on the tail end. Okay, I'm gonna hold this down to make sure I don't pull the film off with. There we go. Boom. Alright. What I'm gonna do is. Double check this here, make sure that's all the way in. A little bit of dust from my buffer getting on there. Okay. Alright, let me try to have a. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna start right about here. Okay, and then I'm gonna very carefully. Start that my cut right here. Very slowly. Guys, again, I'm barely, barely putting any pressure on this. I am just scoring the film. Okay, now I'm putting the back of my blade on the shelf since that's available now. 
make a nice, clean, straight cut. There we go. Okay. There. I had to hold the film down there since I just scored it to make sure it doesn't pull the rest of it up. In fact, I just pulled a little bit right there. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is just give it a little bit of heat, make sure everything's laid in nice and good. Alright guys, that's it. To make sure this is nice and smooth, everything's nice and clean. Boom. There we go, quick and easy. So again, light smoke on the blinker. And then light smoke on the backup lamp itself. And for a comparison, that's what it looks like without the tint. That's what it looks like with the tint. Hope you guys liked it.